Imagine a world with almost 1.5 million kilometers of cables stretched across the land. Streets tangled, cities covered in wires. Quite a mess, right? This massive network of cables does exist. But thankfully for us, it is lying peacefully beneath the surface of the ocean, far away from our busy lives on land. And down there, who knows, fish and other sea creatures might be wondering, what's this giant snake doing in our oceans? They are probably just as curious about these cables as we are. And maybe they are even wondering whether it's worth a bite. <laughs> Jokes apart, but have you ever wondered how these undersea cables carry so much amount of data across such huge distances? How your Instagram posts, your favorite Netflix shows, or even this very YouTube video reach you so fast? The answer to that mystery lies beneath the surface of the ocean in the form of undersea internet cables. So first of all, let's thank the mighty sharks and whales for letting the data reach you undisturbed out of their homes. Oh, buffering, just when we thought that we were safe from internet disruptions. Relax, relax, that was just a little taste of the forestation we all know too well. So before we get disrupted due to real internet connectivity issues, let's put on our virtual snorkels and dive into the depths of the oceans to explore how these undersea cables connect the whole globe. Believe it or not, but undersea cables are the backbone of the internet. To your surprise, but as a matter of fact, over 99% of international data traffic is carried not by the satellites in the sky, but by these undersea cables. From text to calls and FaceTimes, even our mundane life tasks are dependent on the internet. Simply and undoubtedly, internet has become the most indispensable part of our corporate and personal lives. And you can't disagree with that. From cities to countries and countries to continents, we are all connected by these oceanic lifelines, the undersea internet cables. According to Tally Geography, there are over 600 active or planned undersea cables around the world. Think of them like the nervous system of the internet, transmitting multiple terabits of data per second. And thanks to fiber optics technology, they are lightning fast and ultra reliable. Without these cables, we would have to rely on satellites which could result in a nightmare for all of us internet surfers. I mean, satellites aren't built for this level of data transmission. They are slower, have less capacity, far more expensive, and can't keep up with the massive amounts of data we demand each day. Subsea cables, on the other hand, offer faster speeds, more capacity, and have proven to be far more cost-effective. All right, enough of this theoretical high-level discussion. If you could fly above the oceans and look down with the bird's eye view, here's what you would see. A web of submarine cables stretching like veins across the planet. The first and by far the longest is the SEA ME WE3 cable, spanning an incredible 39,000 kilometers. It connects Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Western Europe like a digital superhighway. This giant cable links 33 countries across Europe, Asia, and Africa with 39 landing points. It's like the internet version of a world tour. The next major one is the Media Cable, a joint project by Meta, Microsoft, and Telxius. This powerhouse connects Virginia Beach in the United States to the Bilbao, Spain. It's like a massive pipeline bringing the internet across the Atlantic. Then comes AA-E1, a 25,000km long cable that stretches across Egypt, linking 18 countries across Southeast Asia and Europe. 
you can follow its purple trail on the map. Just like every other technological advancement, cable technology keeps evolving, improving both speed and capacity. Take SCA ME WE3 for instance, which we mentioned earlier as well. It was completed in year 2000. This cable laid the foundation for even more advanced variants. SCA ME WE5 finished in 2016 spans 20,000 kilometers, connecting Southeast Asia, the Middle East and Europe with greater efficiency. And now with even more cutting edge technology, SCA ME WE6 is under construction, expected to be operational by year 2025. This new cable will stretch 19,200 kilometers and will offer a staggering capacity of 126 terabits per second using the advanced SDM or Space Deviant Multiplexing technology. SDM allows for more fiber pairs in the same cable, meaning more data can be transmitted simultaneously, marking another huge leap in undersea connectivity and data transmission capacity. Although all undersea cables play a vital role in keeping the world connected, but they aren't all equal in terms of performance and technology. Some older cables still serve their purpose, but they were designed for a time with lower data demands. With our modern internet habits and so much data flying around, these cables had to evolve to handle the increased traffic, resulting in newer versions that are faster and much more efficient. Oh, oh, a little internet glitch again. By the way, how often do you tag sharks when you face this kind of sudden internet disruption? If not you, you have definitely seen the people do it, right? Sharks get all the blame. But seriously, how do these cables survive shark bites and everything else, the deep, dark ocean throws at them? The answer? These cables are tougher than they look. They are engineered to take a beating. Inside, they contain multiple pairs of optical fibers carefully wrapped in protective layers to endure the harshest conditions. The fiber itself is about 20 mm thick, roughly the size of a garden hose. But the true defense comes from the outer shield. Layers of marine grade polyethylene, steel strength components, copper and glass fiber, all working together to protect the delicate fibers inside. By the time all these layers are added, the cable is about 50 mm thick or more, ready to handle the ocean's crushing depths, rough currents and even the occasional shark bite. It's like a fortress beneath the sea. Oh, I just mentioned the remarkable build quality of undersea cables. But here is something ironically interesting. Despite all those protective layers and incredible engineering, these subsea cables are not all smooth sailing. They are susceptible to damage and vulnerable to several threats. Around 100 to 150 cables get damaged each year due to these three reasons. Firstly, the notorious sharks and whales. These sea creatures have tried their luck in the past, but thanks to improved armor, those incidents are now quite rare, so no more blaming the sharks. But there's a bigger culprit, human activity. Fishing equipment, trawling and anchors can damage these cables. And then comes the most serious threat to these cables, sabotage. Sometimes cables can get damaged on purpose during political disputes. Just recently, Norway and Russia had a serious situation because of a damaged cable. Turns out, even the deepest cables can get caught up in global politics too. Alright, so we have talked about all those crazy things that could damage undersea cables. But there is one last mystery to solve. How on earth does internet speed remain so fast across thousands of kilometers underwater? Well, we all agree that fiber optics are great. They can handle terabits of data per second. But even if you have fiber optics at home, you know it has its limit. Over long distances, something more is needed to keep the signal strong. That's where repeaters or amplifiers 
come into play. These powerful amplifiers are placed at regular intervals about every 50 to 100 kilometers along the cable. And their job? To take a tired signal, amplify it and forward it with full strength. Thanks to these repeaters, your internet speed doesn't drop even after taking a deep sea journey. So with all these challenges and advancements, you might be wondering, what's next for underwater cables? As we innovate and grow, so do these cables. The newest technologies are set to make these cables faster than ever before, with a huge boost in data capacity and transmission speeds. And the best part? You don't have to wait long to see it happen. New cables are already being laid in parts of the world that have long been underserved. Soon, even the most remote corners of the world will enjoy faster internet. And guess what? The driving forces behind these advancements are the ones who are most reliant on internet for their services. Tech giants like Google, Meta, Microsoft, Amazon and others are investing heavily in next generation of undersea cables that will encircle entire continents, making internet access faster and more reliable than ever before. It's time for Fact Say Confidence Score. Underwater cables are advancing faster than ever and the future of global connectivity has never been more exciting. With improved speed and capacity, they are bringing the world closer together, <laughs> virtually at least. At the end of the day, it's all about keeping your connections strong. So the next time you face an issue, don't be too quick to blame someone, especially not a shark, without checking the facts. Stay connected and we will catch you in the next episode only on Facts Say.